Alright, so let's move on to uh, installing the uh, needle and seat and the float. And uh, first of all, there's a fiber washer. Uh, I already put it in, goes down there, a little red one. That goes in there first, and then you got your uh, seat, goes in here. Use a 3 8 wrench and move it back and forth a little bit. Make sure that uh, that uh, gasket is seated well. And uh, and incidentally, if you forget the gasket or the gasket's broken or something like that, you'll get a flooding situation. Uh, gas will come in around here instead of through the needle and seat, so it will never shut off. So if you have a flooding situation, that could be one of the problems. Um, all right, so we got the needle to put in there. Uh, but first I always like to flush out the seat with uh, some uh, silicon spray lubricant make sure there's no dirt particles in there. This has a Viton uh, seat on it. Um, you don't want to put a lot of pressure on that. Uh, you'll damage the uh, Viton seat. Put your float in here. Uh, by the way, your float drop would be adjusted uh, with this little tab, and your float level is adjusted by uh, bending this little tab up or up and down. And uh, again, uh, when you're adjusting your float, don't put any pressure on your needle. Okay. So without the gasket on there, um, you're going to measure the level from the the uh, edge of the. Uh, I want to say the bottom of the top is what it is, but where the gasket, the gasket surface from here to the top of the float, and uh, with metal floats, which uh, that's mostly what you'll see. Um, I think it's uh, it's an inch and three thirty seconds. Uh, so I have my little metal ruler here. Uh, our kits come with a little uh, paper type ruler you can use. So uh, most of us have a good metal ruler around. So this one's just a tad bit high, and uh, I will uh, get my needle nose in there and squeeze that just slightly, and uh, not quite. You'll uh, probably notice that the float will almost be level. And I do both sides just in case it's uh, kind of bent one way or the other. You want the float to be on their level. Um, I'm real close. Let's see. Uh, yeah. If if anything, you want the float to be. If you're going to end up fudging, you would want a, uh, make sure I say this right because the thing is upside down. Um, with ethanol, uh, you tend to need more fuel. Now, don't do this on purpose. I'm just, I'm just want to mention this in, the, in case you say, oh, it's just a 30 second too low or whatever. Uh, that might be okay with the ethanol. Uh, but you want it to close later. So the level would be shorter than one and three sixteenths. Uh, so if you got like one one and an eighth, uh, um, you're probably okay. It might be all right. So if you get it too low, you're gonna again you're gonna get too much fuel in your bowl. Yeah, that's probably way too much. I think I got excited there. Oh, that looks. I don't like the way this thing's measuring here. I thought so. <clears throat> I do things uh, because of the video that I wouldn't normally do on the bench, so bear with me.
Okay, that looks pretty good. So, I don't know if you can see that with the camera, but uh, you'll see the float is basically just real close to being level. So if you had to eyeball it, that's what you would do. Alright, so let's, uh, that's the float. The float's all adjusted. Uh, get our gasket on here. Make sure the you don't have it on backwards because uh, it will go either way. And you just want to be sure none of the holes get covered up. Okay, you got the three on this side, so you got three holes in the gasket. So there you go. And uh, in just a second, we'll move on to the float bowl here.